Hello and welcome back to the Adobe Flash suite, specifically Lesson 5, Distributing an Adobe Flash Movie, as well as uh, Lesson 6, an application or website specifically to deal with using the help files. So the very first thing I'm going to start with is Flash 1-38, uh, publish a movie for distribution on the web. Verify layers FLA is open and then save it as layers web.fla. You'll note right here it already I've already saved it as layers web.fla and this is building on my item that I used before where I had the circle and the square. Once again making sure that your previous um, flash project actually works the way it's supposed to because if you continue to build on something that didn't work out so well there you go. Now this one's actually fairly easy. Um, if I had my, let's see, so I want to do it says view layers, right? I've done that. Click file on menu and push publish. I want to do file and I want to do publish and it then creates a published version of it. And then I should be able to, once that's done, I should be able to double click on layers, but that's how you actually um, publish that particular item if I so chose. Now, what I can also do is I can go ahead and as I work on Flash 1-39, draw backdrop color for the stage, I want to click Modify, so I want to go ahead and Modify, and I want to push Document, change the background color to white, and click OK. So my background color is already set to white, so I turned it off black, and I already turned it on white. This is where you can change either one. I'm going to make sure it's set to white, and I'm going to push OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the square, and I want to insert, and I want to do timeline, and I want to add a layer. Now you'll notice it'll insert my layer above the one I'm selected on. Now I've done it multiple times, so mine says layer 6, yours might say layer 3. The layer number doesn't matter as, as important. Okay, so we want to double click layer, uh, whatever layer I just added, and we want to call this backdrop backdrop. Now what that does is it labels that layer, that particular item, right? There we go, backdrop. And then what I want to do is I want to use my rectangle tool. So I make sure my rectangle tool is selected. And then I go ahead and create a rectangle. Now what's important to note before I created a rectangle here, and I've already done it previously, is that I have the stroke, in other words the outline, and the fill color both set to black because what I'm doing is I'm creating a background over all this. Um, now what I want to do is I want to drag the backdrop all the way to the end. Notice this is a layering technique. You've got multiple objects working in conjunction with one another. So on the back object I have the background, which is a square, um, the larger black square that acts as a background, and then I have the square itself, which is right there. Mine's a little funky still, but that's okay. And then I have the circle. So they're all working conjunction on top of the background. After I've done all of this, I want to do a file, and I want to do a publish preview HTML. So what I'm doing is I'm publishing it so I can get a general feel for what's going on here. This is the way it's going to look at on an HTML file. It's going to continue to loop so I can see it. I realize that there's no errors or anything along those lines, so I'm getting closer to actually creating a file that I can put out there so people look at it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking a look at Flash 1-45, so I'm closing this so I get back to here. And on Flash 1-45, uh, it says click Help on the menu bar and then click Flash Help. So Help, and I've got all these different things, and I want to do Flash Help. So it's going to bring up my flash help eventually. Now you'll notice I have a search object, right? I'm going to let me close this bad boy right down here eventually. Come on, don't be bashful. There you go. All right, so here's my search help. And if I was looking at said, uh, click help, you note know, if you see a page not found message, be sure you connect to the internet. Maximize the help window, then click the expand button. So I'm going to maximize this. And then I, and any time that you see a plus button, and I'm not seeing a expand button, I, I could actually click this. It gives me different search I items if I wanted to. Um, update later. Wow. Let's just do all this. I have my what's new, get started. So each one of these is, I'm just following it through general links. It gives me information. I can then follow that information as appropriate or not. 
you know, dependent upon if I don't want to do that, convert your animate document to another document format, and it goes through those items where that's concerned. If I'm looking in a search, I'm searching for something very specific, I could click up in my search box here, and I can type, let's say, CS5 workspace, workspace, and that's as detailed on number seven, right? And if I come in here and I do return, or also known as enter, Dun, dun, dun. So each one of these items I can now choose. So Adobe would contribute, save, and switch workspaces. I can click on that. And then whatever item I get over here, it's then going to load that on the right-hand side. And then I can choose to navigate through that as appropriate. So I can do save a custom workspace. And it talks about things that might relate to saving a custom workspace. And we only have a certain amount displayed. As I scroll down, you can see more information. When you're all the way done, you simply close the flash help workspace right so it closes and then I'm back to my actual workspace all right now with that that concludes both lesson five and lesson six as it relates to chapter one I hope this has served you well for getting a good start um, I hope that as we go forward you know feel free to ask questions but this kind of going through these elements making sure you understand what's in, involved here um, and working forward is very important because these all build on one another. Thank you very much for your time. Have a very good day.